Hi, boys. Hi. Hi. Um, welcome to Design Gallery. This is the second time you do a street art exhibition here. Um, um, you love street art, don't you? Yeah, it uh, actually, yeah, it looks like that. But we, both of us do that. Uh, and he's the main guy of it. And you're the main guy with street art. Do you have a gallery, right, Jimmy? Yeah, I have a gallery that we all, we, we just represent uh, street artists. No, no other uh, artists at all. So it's uh, street artists and, of course, also graffiti painters. So uh, today with this I exhibition, we are up against uh, 50 artists here, I think. And they have all uh, provided us with four bottles each. So that's uh, approximately 200 bottles here this, uh, this evening. And last year, basically everything was sold, wasn't it? So you couldn't expect that everything's going to be sold this year again, right? Yeah, we hope so. Uh, last year, like half was sold uh, on the actual exhibition day, and half of it was sold uh, like, like two months after on the internet. So, yeah, we hope so. Yeah. And this year we have like special edition absolute vodka <laughs> bottle. So yeah. we hopefully will get sued by absolute vodka. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that's part of the street life thing. Yes, You're going to be very, yeah, very like naughty. Yes. Uh, so how naughty are you then, Jimmy? Um, now I'm I'm not that naughty, but uh, I think my artists and, and and the artists here are quite naughty. Uh, or and some of them are out there in in the nights and painting a lot. Uh, so uh, they're not just you know old uh, old painters here. It's it's also the ones who's out there and do do their stuff uh, as they they should do. Well, thank you guys. Uh, good luck with unpacking everything and good luck with the three hour exhibition here at the San Galeriet. And now I'm going to see you next year again, I guess. Of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how naughty we are next year. <laughs> 2015, we might be a nice year. We'll see no, about that. No, no, no. no, 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 no this no, is no. street art, Stefan. This is street art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, All right. Good luck. Bye, boys. Bye. Bye bye. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Stefan, and um, um, welcome to Stefan uh, Web TV. Um, what um, What's this? Hmm. This is a uh, um, this is a uh, shop. Yeah. Yeah. This is a shop, uh, and this is a place uh, where to see uh, many uh, nice uh, Latvian uh, things. Uh, doing uh, or uh, making uh, from from uh, Latvian people. So this is only Latvian pieces? It's almost. There is, a s uh, for example, um, uh, this um, uh, lamps uh, abajur, yeah? Th this uh, with uh, pictures. Uh, uh, with, uh, uh, this is um, a Latvian who left Latvia and uh, uh, now they uh, live in a in a in a um, Switzerland. Ah. 
Yeah, but they are still Latvian, but we import this from <laughs> Switzerland, yeah? <laughs> but actually, uh, mostly, yes. Um, Do you have any favorites? Yes. <laughs> so what? Show me. Uh, um, I like very well uh, bed linen. Mm -hmm. I sleep uh, in this bed linen very good, and it's uh, my uh, it's uh, very very good. Um, and uh, then I will show you show you more. <laughs> I like these um, uh, glass bowls. They actually is very famous, not only in Latvia. Um, uh, they um, export these um, the pieces uh, to many, uh, many uh, countries. Uh, but it this is my favorite, yes. How long have you had the store now? And uh, I mean, the st I've been here a few times when I've been to Riga. Um, but how many years have you had the store? About four years. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you have a lot of it of um, um, design from the region. Um, and do you have lots of buyers from local also? Um, you mean uh, our Latvians? Yes, it's uh, uh, actually in a uh, winter time, in a uh, in a uh, uh, not touristic season. It's uh, more uh, locals, uh, and uh, they um, actually this is like became uh, more like gift shop, yeah. Uh, many buy their gifts from uh, from uh, for for, for um Christmas. Christmas and for uh, um yes yeah. I love your head thing, the uh, tiara thing. Yeah, this is um, a Brigitte Stroda design. Uh, this is very nice. We we uh, s start to sell uh, this in in uh, winter time. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Aldis, hi. Um, it's uh, hi. Um, how are you today? Hello, Stefan. Fine. I'm very fine. We met yesterday at a fantastic conference here in Latvia, and uh, I got the opportunity to see you here in Riga. Uh, Riga Chairs is the company called, and that's yours, is it? Yeah, that's Riga Chair. That's my company. So all the, um, the the trademark of Riga Chair Factory. So we have created some three years ago. So you do chairs, obviously, um, and we're standing here next to us. We see some fantastic uh, stools. It's made of veneer, is it? And uh, you can just nod, veneer. Yes. <laughs> and uh, wh what's this? Well, technically, it's called molded plywood. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, so you see now, this is a, our literally first product we invented in 2011. So the first product I designed and we the first product we, we uh, launched into the serial production and it immediately um, uh, drawed in international uh, attention and uh, brought us uh, Red Dot Design Award in 2012. So uh, the, 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 the product family has been grown uh, from little stool uh, up to uh, a, a tall bar stool so you can uh, use for the commercial bars or, or, or mm, kitchen tops uh, in your flat or something. I think they're quite amazing. Um, so that's made of um, plywood, you said. And you also have something else made of plywood that Yorkshire showed out at the presentation yesterday that you're happy about. That's the, the toy thing. Yes. Uh, so um, the number of products we have uh, done in three years uh, contain also the, um, the range of kids' furniture and toys. So. Um, one of the best product what we have and uh, which has uh, uh, created uh, um, uh, a big uh, attention from uh, also internationally and locally um, is this um, uh, our little uh, roux. It's a, a horse, kangaroo, uh, giraffe, something we talked about yesterday. Yes, so it's uh, it's anything you like or anything you can notice in it. So. Some kids uh, better see a dog uh, or a sheep or, uh, I don't know, 
uh, so for me that was uh, at one point so I, I, I made a design so I started to turn it around and, and from one certain site so it, it reminded me a kangaroo so therefore I, I decided to, to name it after the uh, a kangaroo from the Winnie the Pooh Amazing. Um, so, Alice, uh, now we've seen that you do a lot of uh, wooden furniture. Would you say that this is typical Latvian design? Um, yes and no. So, um, I'm in, in, in the architecture and, and, and uh, product design uh, already more than 25 years, and uh, uh, it's very hard to define uh, the, the all the influences uh, I have, you know, picked during all these years, uh, and uh, what what exactly has made uh, my understanding of, of how the product should look like? Definitely, it has the features of uh, of um, broader, uh, let's say, northern design tradition. Um, well, you know, few local design critics uh, has uh, revealed that yes, uh, definitely there is something. Uh, uh, also from the Latvian uh, tradition yeah. in the design. So, okay. Um, do, you s do you think there's a difference between Latvian and Nordic slash Scandinavian design? Mm. Um, perhaps in formal features, but the the attitude uh, and the understanding of material we have uh, a lot in common. Uh, let's say. Um, Latvian artisans uh, are, let's say, since, I don't know, two, three, four hundred years, so <coughs> has been uh, doing things uh, or treating materials uh, they are working with uh, kind of in similar ways that, that has been done in Scandinavia or, or in northern countries elsewhere. So in, in that sense, uh, I think that uh, we have... Uh, Common roots. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. Hi, Shogo. Um, welcome to Design Galleriet. Who are you? 
Uh, I'm Shogo Hirata from Japan. From Japan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you are doing some fantastic prints on on textiles. What is it? Yeah, actually, it's not uh, exact print, but uh, uh, which is called cyanotype. It's uh, all the analog photograph technique, uh, uh, which is I done on a, a garment or a fabric. Yeah. And and this is uh, was this a, a school project or did you do this on your own? No, uh, my own project. Oh. Yes. And you graduated from Capella Gordon in summer, was it? And what are you doing now? Uh, I'm doing a practic uh, internship uh, at uh, Velol by Nostalgia now. And also I'm doing uh, working with this project. Uh, I have my own studio or sharing studio. And um, yeah, doing this uh, project and other project as well. Ah, you don't only do cyanotype. It's called cyanotype, is it? Yeah. So, so um, is it difficult to make these sort of like, you don't call it prints, I don't know what you call it. So it's difficult to make this? Yeah, yes. Uh, I think it's really difficult and uh, it's uh, kind of, it's always become unpredictable. Yeah. Uh, and, you, and you make actually the actual garment yourself as well? You don't only do then photograph on it, but you also make the, uh, the actual shirt yourself? Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, this is my goal. Uh, uh, would you call yourself a fashion designer or would you call yourself a craftsman? Or what do you call yourself? That's a difficult question. Maybe both or something middle. Uh, I don't want to be only fashion designer. I want to make by myself as well. And uh, I don't want to be only f uh, handcraft uh, artist as well. Uh, so I want to be both. So have to make new name. Uh, yeah, we'll find a new name for you. Um, so, Shogo, this exhibition is opening at the Zangalit, and it's a typical representation of what you're doing as a, as a designer and a craftsperson. Um, but you come from Japan, yes. and you graduated, you went to school there as well, and you've done a, a school both in Japan and, and also in Sweden. Yeah. Actually, I graduated uh, a university which is uh, about uh, mathematics, learning math learned mathematics and uh, programming. And then, uh, also, I went to graphic design school, and I became graphic designer, <laughs> and I worked for four and a half years, and I came to Sweden after then to become a fashion designer or a handcraft artist. Yes. So being then from, from Japanese origin and living and working in Sweden, would you call this Scandinavian design? Worldwide design, or I don't know. Yeah. Scandinavian art. Yeah, mix of Japanese, Scandinavian design, I think. Yeah. So what is Scandinavian in your um, aesthetics? Mm, that's difficult, but uh, I see a lot of uh, um, same common uh, things in common uh, in Japan and both Sweden. Uh, yeah, so... Mm, but uh, I can say it's really simple. Uh, design is always simple and uh, functional. That's a Swedish, also maybe Japanese. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We'll let the viewers decide themselves. I'm gonna buy one of your shirts, yes. uh, and it's and you buy them by going to your website and, and uh, you book one there. Or how do you? Because these are these are not things you can find in the stores. No, exactly. Uh, you have to text me or ma send an email to me and uh, like have a personal talk. Then, yeah, you can order, like. And then you make your personal print and everything. Exactly, yeah. I will make unique uh, design, yeah. Fantastic, I yeah. love that idea. Well, Shogo, good luck with the show and the Venissage tonight, and I hope yeah. you have a successful exhibition here at the Zang Gallery. Yeah. And enjoy, and bye. Thank you.